High school is the worst. You have all these different kinds of people conforming to the same laws. So they form cliques. You have your jocks, your nerds, the artsy kids, and the burnouts. The girls that are too good looking to care about anyone else. And then you have me. As depressed and pissed off as I am, there's only one thing in the world that I care about. And that's Rachel. She's the cliche girl that everyone loves. Smart, beautiful, and caring. And she doesn't even know I exist. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, are you there? Dan, Rachel's last boyfriend, and I use that term lightly, he only cares about himself, and I have personally caught him cheating on her at least three times. When I heard about what happened to Dan, I knew I had done it, 
and I didn't care because he was the worst damn person I knew. But I had to tell someone. Jared's the only one I trust. So what the hell? Not like he'd believe me anyway. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me that you found this computer yeah. that kills people? Yeah, that's kind of like Dan gone missing and, and a couple of other people. <sighs> okay, man. I was having a lot of fun with this computer. I was finally getting revenge on everyone who stole Rachel from me. All I cared about was getting closer and closer to eventually getting her love. couldn't tell whether Jared believed me or not, but either way, he was upset. Finally, when he discovered that kids from school actually died, he believed me and called the next morning begging me to stop. Ethan, Rachel's ex-boyfriend. An abusive son of a... The computer could save mankind. World peace within my reach. Think of all the dictators and horrible people worldwide that I could eliminate with a simple push of a button.
realize now, after all those murders, that no matter what I do, I can never have her. So if I can't have her, no one can. doing and what you're doing is wrong. Sir, you don't understand. This is 